Yes. My name is Ireba Misalako, and with me in the studio, I have the Emil Modele, a legal practitioner. Many thanks for being with us on the show. Uh, thank you, my sister. You are welcome to the program. I say good day to everybody at all. Okay. All right, we will go on a break to introduce this topic. And when we come back, we will get right down to the topic. And that, that is Nigerians react to Ikwe Kwe Madu's jail term in the UK. Please stay with us when we come back. We will begin the discussion. After a person is uh, convicted for a crime, he has a right, you know, to appeal for clemency, for, um, for the court to, to, to temper justice with mercy. Every defendant, or a convict rather, is entitled to that. And so anything that will sway the judge to um, temper justice with mercy, that is reduce sentence, is allowed in our criminal justice system in the UK. It's also applicable in Nigeria. Of course, we borrowed our, the most part of our legal system from the United the, from England. So, Alokutus is allowed. He has done. It is not for anything that he wants to make anybody to maybe to uh, give wrong to any other person. It is just to see how the, the, his, his own daughter will grow. So, that is one of the things I'm telling you. A lot of Nigerians are appealing that legally some of these things that somebody wants to stay in the United Kingdom and then he just wants to agree on a particular thing and then at the end of the day he started creating a problem for, the, for our, this thing. But I, we are not looking at it even on the legal issues and all that. But we are believing that term, it, uh, the, the government of this issue can come into the matter and then even ask him to be relieved. They have a right of appeal. Again, it's, it's like what applies or is applicable in Nigeria. They have a right of appeal. So they can, they can utilize their, that option. They can appeal to a superior court, you know, to look at the conviction and also look at the sentencing or look at the sentencing alone. So they have a right of appeal. Very unfortunately, um, some of us are not too happy even some most Nigerians are not happy that one of us, a former a senator, a senator who has been the former Senate pre, uh, vice, uh, 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 deputy president of the Senate, and uh, somebody also who has been uh, a very important person in this country. In fact, uh, he, was, uh, he was a speaker of the West African uh, Parliament, and uh, a lot of good things he has done both in the East and even in Nigeria. And then for him to now go out of the country over the daughter's health and uh, to be prosecuted. It is, uh, assuming it is even somebody else, assuming he's even using it to make money or to uh, uh, get anything. But it is just for the safety of the daughter. To have you back. The moral struggle. Is it right? Is it excusable because it is out of paternal instinct, as it is said? And I have here with me, like I said earlier, Dr. Yemi Omodele. How did you take this judgment? Because it seems some Nigerians are of the opinion that this, just, this judgment is not fair. What's your take on that? You see, uh, as a lawyer, you, you need to think deeply before you jump into conclusion. The trial that took place did not take place within the soil of Nigeria. The criminal justice system of the United Kingdom is a bit different from what operates in Nigeria, though there may be similarities. But in terms of quick dispensation of justice and some other factors, there are some differences there. You see, if, based on what is read on papers, online, and some reports, one may not be able to jump into conclusion. But if you are, have access to the records, that is what we call, some we call it proof of evidence in Nigeria, yeah, you read it, you'll be able to make some inference. As far as the case is concerned in the UK, the decision has been handed down. Uh, 
I'm aware he has right to probably appeal. Well, I think 21 days. Yes. But uh, you see, appeal over there is different from appeal at this end. Appeal over there, your notice of appeal will be submitted. And after being submission, after the submission, then it will be scrutinized. If it is scrutinized that there were some gaps which will be looked at at the higher court, you proceed. If it is scrutinized and discovers that such notice of appeal holds no water, it dies there. That is the procedure there. But at this our end here, once you file your notice of appeal, you compile your records, you transmit it, you get to court of appeal, then you start your argument. That, that is what we say. What we say is, is, is different. Though I am not saying that, that court is not a court of finality. Yes. He can see exercise is right. Mm -hmm. But it's an unfortunate situation that such happened to a, a man that I can say globally known. It's an unfortunate situation. Yes. But the court has spoken. It has spoken. Mm. The UK criminal justice system does not have extension to Nigeria. It doesn't. So there are two distinct countries. Okay, all right. And then, since you said that there might be some things that perhaps were overlooked in this judgment if they wanted to appeal, mm. do you think that first time offender and because of the delicate nature because this is something that has one conflicting has one morals conflicting yeah. because this is not just a money-making venture it is to save the life of his dear daughter do you think that reason might be enough for his case to to be accepted for appeal over there you see morality and law there are some distinctions between the two. Now, wh when it comes to crime, there is strict compliance. If it is civil, you may, you may be right. But when it comes to crime, uh, you, you may not be right. Now, that you want to save the life of somebody, fine or good, but you save the life of somebody in line with the law, not outside the scope of the law. That is where the problem is. Mm -hmm. Now, the, 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 the justices at the appellate level, they, they are human. As they are human, they also work in line with what the law says and precedents. They will not go outside that. And not going outside that suffices to say that the war will be based on what they see. Now, for instance, if uh, in Nigeria here, we, we call them suspect, in the court we call them defendant. It's arrested, made statement, uh, maybe at the end of the charge to court. And in the statement made, maybe he made an admission. It will be difficult for a trial court or appellate court to say that the admission made was not true. Though there are some circumstances that such may not be believed. But if those circumstances are not featuring there, then the court has no option at all. Because the court is not an investigating body. Yes. The, the, the court is a court of habitat that will look at both the left and the right hand side and be able to draw an draw inference. So the court doesn't want to know whether this happened. It's what will brought before the court. The court will believe him. And that is how the law works. Mm -hmm. So now, the issue of uh, 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 saving life is normal. But what about the life at the other end? Now, if I think I saw you see a clip, maybe Jenny or not, where the judge was saying that uh, 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 you have no past criminal record, and this and that. I think that's an inference to that. So having made inference to that, can that one suffice as a grounds of appeal? Because that issue has been what? Has been resolved at the lower court. 
So that, that, is, that, that is where the, that's where the question mark is. But notwithstanding, uh, uh, the, 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 the legal profession is a, is a profession of intellect. So one who tries intelligence, they are able to get what he wants. And so what's the future looking like now for Igwe Kweri Mado? I haven't get, gotten close to 10 years. Because 9 years, 6 months, that is, that is still a long time. No, well, what, what, what could be the next line of action for him apart from appeal? No. Uh, apart from appeal, maybe if, if, if he appeals or he doesn't appeal, and uh, he seeks for services of lawyers over there, I'm aware of what is called clemency. Yes. He may pass through clemency. And if he passes through clemency, then there may be consideration. There may be consideration. But uh, you see, the clemency over there is different from the clemency we have in at this end. And uh, in that wise, before you can even talk of clemency, some years must have been spent mm. in the uh, custodial center. Some years must have been spent. It's after some years must have been spent, then you can now bring and say, clemency of a good character, he has to do this and that. Then he will look at it and have a look at it, then the prerogative may come in place. But that prerogative can only be granted by that country not here. Crime was not committed here. Investigation was not done here. Trial was not done here. So, and judgment was not delivered here. So the, the issue is over there. So there's no way that he could perhaps spell the remainder of his jail time in Nigeria? No, no, no. They are, they, I'm aware of, uh, in 2014, I think precisely in January 2014, there was an agreement executed between Nigeria and United Kingdom. I think okay. that was during the uh, United's administration, wherein uh, they call it transfer of prisoners, that uh, some uh, Britons in the country here and some Nigerians over there who may be serving jail can be can be moved from there to Nigeria prison, now called custodial correctional center, and from Nigeria down there. there. There is an agreement between Nigeria and United Kingdom. I'm aware of that. It was signed in 2014, precisely January. Mm -hmm. It was executed. So having, since there is a treaty between the two countries in respect of that, then such can happen. But uh, the, 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 the issue is this. Would the man prefer Nigeria custodial center to over there? I, I, I doubt. <laughs> then, then with his status in the country, deputy senate president for years, and uh, from what I read, I learned he's a, he's a lawyer, a man of intellect, a respectable, respected person in his state. Uh, I doubt if we prefer Calabar custodial center to United Kingdom center. I doubt it. I doubt it. Mm -hmm. And that may not speak well of the, the, the. But to me, we hope it's not lost. I would just advise that uh, you should seek for the best legal services over there. Let them analyze the judgment and the proceedings and the circumstances upon which the, the judgment was delivered and uh, take a good step. It's 21 days, I'm aware, it's 21 days. If it is civil, it's 20 days. If it were Nigeria, it's 90 days, yes, which we call three months. But over there, 21 days, 20 days, criminal civil, that is it. So if they studied very well, you see, there is no how a judgment could be delivered. If lawyers, intelligent lawyers, they scrutinize it, they will still be able to see one or two gaps. But whether that, those gaps will be able to warrant appellate court to set aside such a judgment or conviction, I, I don't know. But there is no how judgment can be. If lawyers scrutinize it, look at the proceedings, circumstances of that case and everything, they'll be able to bring out grounds of appeal. And if they bring it out, conversing argument on it, they may, they may, they may, they may, they may be victorious. The only difference is that over there, they will subject your gap to, to a body that will look at it. Is this gap reasonable? Is it unreasonable? Is this one? If they look at Nigeria's unreasonable, that is the old that is the old game. Hmm. It is the old So that is okay. the pretty common. Well, let us look at one of the things in the public opinion. That is they felt like perhaps the federal government should have been able to maybe not let this escalate as much as it has and perhaps it is because of negligence of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. That is why Ekore Madu is 
for lack of better words, suffering so much in the United Kingdom. Are there any steps that the federal government could have taken to reduce his sentence, maybe if they have acted on time, and not just like two, three days that we saw the National Assembly and some top officials in Nigeria writing to the UK government for clemency? You, you see, some people get it wrong from one angle. Federal government can take step fine. It's our son, good and well. But you see, there are some countries in this world called the World Pass. UK is one of them. And then, you see all these World Pass countries. When they see you in their country as a Nigerian, they don't trust you. <laughs> I'm sorry to say that. Yes. Some people call themselves jackpot. The jackpot, they are the one they know what they are jackpotting for there. They don't trust you. And now when they see a Nigerian involved in a crime, they take it serious. And when they take it serious, they from investigation, they've drawn a conclusion. So once that conclusion is drawn, they charge you to court. Once they charge you to court, they leave your fate to be determined by the court. Deal with harm that racism. No, 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 no. You see, what happened is this. What happened is this. They, you see, it's unfortunate that Mr. Ikwede Madu find himself in this, uh, I can say, it's an unfortunate situation. People must have been involved in such act that were not caught. And those people now, they will be saying, oh, thank God I was mm -hmm. not caught. In my village, they say, it is when you catch a thief that people will make jest of him. The person making jest of him, is, he also is also a thief. That, that, that proverb goes a long way. Now, federal government of Nigeria eh, is a sovereign state. United Kingdom comprises uh, the West, uh, Britain, uh, Scotland, Northern Ireland, Ireland and uh, Scotland. Scot Scotland. Those countries, they are sovereign states. When you talk of sovereignty, you are on your own. Nobody dictates how you do your things for you. That, that is where international law is a bit, uh, is a bit unfriendly when it comes to criminal justice system. Now, when you talk of Nigeria is a sovereign state, the main is that we do our things on our own. UK does our things on our own. So writing them, informing them, may, may, not, may not make a change. I'm aware, I read it, some people, women, Nigerians, intervened, uh, do political intervention cannot be ruled out in all these things. However, the width of such intervention is what I don't know. Those width, I don't know, I don't know whether those things have width. Because the, 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 the gravity over there is different from the gravity here. And you see, when the man was handing down that uh, judgment said, innocent mm. citizen of Nigeria, uh, uh, hawking in Lagos streets. Such, such comment is not a good comment. So if you look at that comment, that comment must have been fired from the facts of the case and the file, which I'm not privy to. But the utterance I had it. So, so, see, so you see, Looking at that thing, the intervention of federal government of Nigeria, whether done earlier or done lately, may not add any weight, may not make a change because of the principle of sovereignty. Yes, may not make a change. Yes, may not make a change. And let me tell you, I'm sorry to say this. Uh, the federal, I'll just appeal to federal government to ensure that our health system is put in, in order so that uh, when mosquito bites us, we don't take flight to France. <laughs> we don't take flight to Dubai. We can easily treat ourselves. Mm. So I think it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a good uh, signal to the federal government and to some Nigerians that have money to be invested in the health sector. Let me tell you, if you invest in the health sector in Nigeria, 
and people can go there and get themselves treated within a reasonable time, you will make your money. But I continue to say one thing. It is madness for somebody to make money in Nigeria. And you take that money to Dubai and be building a hotel there in Dubai. That is madness. That, that is uncalled for. Now, you make money in Nigeria here. You pack that money, you go to South Africa. You, you say you are investing there. Mm. Is that, 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 that is not reasonable. It's not reasonable. Invest here. Let our sons and daughters be working there. That will reduce what they call jackpot. It will reduce it. Because the graduates in the engineering sector, medical sector, nursing sector, pharmacy, they will be here to work. But in a situation where our sons and daughters are taking our word from here, building European countries for them, it's not it's called for. So let us invest in this country, and you will see that the country will be better. Yes, for and us. apart from a lesson that could be incurred from this, especially for the health sector, yeah. let us quickly talk about the Nigeria's judiciary. Yeah. What lesson do you feel Nigeria's judiciary? Because this case did not last several years, like is usually obtainable in Nigeria's yeah. judiciary. Yeah. So what lessons do you feel Nigeria's judiciary too could adopt from this? You see, the, the Nigeria judiciary, you see, there are a lot of factors. Though I will say that... Uh, it will only encourage some, some mm. persons at the bench to, to dispense justice within a reasonable time. But let me tell you, there are some factors that cause delay in justice system in Nigeria. Those factors included, but are not limited to number one. Emolument, encouragement, facilities available. Then aside from that, you see, one thing happens that people don't know. A judge may say this case, I want to finish it within a period of 12 months. 12 but, months? But, but, but that yes, is still yes, long. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. He may say, I want to finish the period of 12 months. But when a judge gets to court, there is no power supply. I do want him to see it. Then a judge is going to court, there is no fuel. The driver keeps on filling station for three hours. Then a judge is going to call. He's on traffic for six hours or three hours. He leaves his house, maybe 6 a.m., and gets to call maybe 12 noon. How do you want the, the judge to cope with such a situation? Then a judge gets to call. There is no power supply to see. And do you want him to get blind? No, he's uncalled for. So those are the factors. Those areas must be addressed first before you now come and say you want to talk about the judiciary. If those things are put in place, let me tell you the best will come. No, I am not saying all of them are perfect, but to some extent, some are ready to work, but some factors inhibit mm. them from carrying out their duties as expected. This, thank God, I practice this job and I travel virtually all states of the Federation in respect of this job. I have gotten the experiences from different angles. I discovered that the singular problem is the same problem affecting in the neighboring state here, within the state here, and some kilometers away from here. It's still the same problem. So it is not the intention of a judge to sit and keep a file in the court for, for 10 years. It is not. Yeah, it is, it is not. It is not. Then another thing is this. Another thing happens. If a judge is sitting on a matter, now, some of our colleagues who may think that the, the pendulum is not swinging favorably to their side, they write a petition. When they write a petition, the file will be called for. That will start the case for some period. Such a problem, has it been caused by the court? No, no. No, so those are the things. So, so those are the things. Well, then look at it, then, another, then, me, then, then another factor is this. When you okay, are saying, I am sincerely yeah, sorry yeah, to yes, interrupt yes, the flow of your thought because yes. we do not have much time and we have to draw the curtain close on this particular episode of Firecracker. Yeah. Many, many thanks, Dr. Yemi Omodele, yeah, for grateful. sharing I'm with grateful. us from the worst of your experiences. I'm we truly grateful. appreciate I'm it. Grateful. I'm grateful. And unfortunately, this is where we'll be drawing the curtain close on today's episode of Firecrackers. My name is Iriba Misaloko. We thank you so much for staying with us. But do join us same time, same station next week. And do have a wonderful week ahead. Goodbye. <laughs>